Like every season, she's getting more and more of a handle on her power. Is that going to continue in season six, or we learn more about her and what big events she brings with her? And I mean, you definitely had learned about her personal family history with, with being a Banshee, and this season uh, we put a lot of time periods, and so there was, there was perhaps a Banshee connection to one of them. And uh, how much does that have to do with Lydia or not is, is the question. Yeah. So, so you do, there are, uh, I, I wouldn't say you, we dwell deep into it because there's definitely a more central issue at hand in Beacon Hills. Uh, and however a banshee can help, she definitely utilizes that power. But I would say there's one amazing episode that deals with uh, just the Irish folklore itself and it makes you understand more of the folklore versus just Lydia's family. Shelly and I have a ton of scenes this season. Uh, the, yeah. the dynamic between us is a lot of fun between uh, Lydia's intelligence and Lydia's interpretation of how the world works. So seeing that, that the awkward banter is, is, I thought, was at least fun to act. And uh, I also think just the kinds of mysteries we're solving this season of Beacon Hills, we need that physicality of Malia and the supernatural power of, of, uh, of Lydia. So it's also needed as well. So some of us have noticed that Lydia and Deputy Parrish have incredible chemistry. <laughs> It's just me, guys. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Uh, so no, no. Just, yeah. Uh, so you're talking about for Styles or for Parrish? Well, we noticed Parrish and Lydia have great chemistry. Very screen, sweet. So. I've known Ryan for nine years. No, yeah, no, nine years. I've lived here for ten and I've known him for nine. Uh, so I've known Hecklin that long, too. So, so is there a chance of yeah. yeah. I can't tell you those things. <laughs> That's like the, the most kept secret. Uh, Lydia ha definitely has a connection to someone in season six. Yeah. Does she have any scenes with? Stay tuned. <laughs> we both have really interesting roles in season six. Yeah. So what can you tell us? I know these are terrible answers. Uh, I would say, I could say this is Jeff said this that that Scott is single this season, so. If you're dealing with any sort of relationship, you can look to Lydia and dot, 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 somebody else. Yeah. So last season was really hard on Lydia, but it was in Ike House. Is it any easier? It is. The physicality for me this season was easier. Yeah. It definitely was. I think I, uh, I break out of my insane asylum and I'm able to, to come back down to earth a little bit. Unfortunately, that means me wearing more heels. And I'm I'm more part of the pack solving solving the, the central issue, which is a pretty massive issue. It's if you can believe it, it's the biggest problem we've had on Team Wolf yet. I know that's saying a lot and promising a lot, and I can promise you that delivers. It is actually the biggest problem we've had in Beacon Hills in the series for the first part of season six. Yeah. Has Lydia changed any since she's learned more about controlling her powers? Yeah, I feel like Lydia, as far as the, the scenes that were written this season, I feel like they've taken on a bit, a, a lot more of a mature role. And there's definitely that little bit of a bickering, you know, between us, you know, Styles and Malia. But ultimately, it's about getting the job done. And I think uh, she's the most pragmatic she's ever been uh, and doesn't let personal feelings come into to, to play. So I, I think that she's, she's the most mature she's ever been on the show. What can you tell us about Lydia's style? That's a question for Jeff Davis. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about Lydia's style? That's his question. Um, but I, I think the, the city of fans will be will be at least entertained to say that. <laughs> yeah. So I asked this before to someone else. Yeah. If you could write an episode, what would you have your character? Gosh. That's a good question. I want to say it was. The eighth episode, um, it was this episode written by our writer Angela Harvey. She wrote a fantastic episode for, for Lydia's situation at least. Uh, it was fantastic. I, I, it was one of my favorite episodes that Lydia got to go through. And it was a lot of days on set for me, but it was really fun. Uh, so yeah, I would say my perfect, my perfect episode has been written. It's uh, 6, I think it's 6.08. 
gonna kill me. It's either six or six or six or eight. But it's uh, it's the episode that Angela Harvey wrote. Yeah, it deals with that uh, with a different time period. Yeah. When you think of all the supernatural creatures that you've dealt with on the show, what is your favorite one? Is it one that you've already dealt with, or one that we're going to be dealing with in the new season? This season 6A is very similar to season 3A. And those are my favorite kind of villains where it's, it's more mental. And there's not a lot of effects. There's not even a lot of physicality. It's just two people in a room. And the, you know, the, the Go game, the Japanese Go, was, was my favorite uh, idea of, of messing with someone's mind. I mean, like Sounds of the Lambs is my kind of thing. So uh, I like that the villains this season, although there is a lot of action involved, it's how it really gets to you, how they whittle you down, it's more mental. And that's why I, I really uh, like this season because it reminds me of 3A. Which is, uh, so, to answer your question, it's coming up and it was in 3A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we going to get more fighting scenes for Olivia? She's been training with the I don't have a ton of fighting this season. That's one thing I can tell you. No, I don't. I think it was a matter of getting out of Iken and, and a lot of it was... Uh, I felt like I was fighting most of the season because we shot this one breakout in so many different lights of, you know, flash forwards and flashbacks. So I would say uh, not a lot of fighting for Lydia. A lot of fighting, but not, not for Lydia. Yeah, there's, there's also two, it's a dual villain situation going on. I realize that I'm only been talking about one of them, but the other one is very physical. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out your shirt. You can. Oh, yes. If you guys oh. want to <laughs> you can pee next to me. Oh is uh, to shirtwithemways.com forward slash equality, supporting equality for the bathroom bill in North Carolina. And uh, it's a great shirt. It's for sale. And we're just uh, raising awareness about it.